Roblox quietly added a pretty big reporting update that might help make Roblox moderation better, or so I hope. Over the last year or so, Roblox hasn't been afraid to make the point that they want to improve how moderation works and how successful it is. For example, Roblox had a brief talk about moderation during RDC 2023 where they announced plans to retrain moderators and have secondary ban reviews. They also once talked about improvements made to UGC moderation, which went well for about two weeks. My point is that Roblox seems to want to improve moderation and recently they rolled out a new update that is a part of that. Roblox added this new feature that allows you to attach a picture to your report. If you go to your in-game menu and try to report the game, you're able to take a screenshot and send it along with the rest of your report. All you have to do is look at what you want the moderator to see, click capture scene, and you'll be able to attach it to your report. You're also able to highlight certain areas of the picture to further help the moderator who sees it identify what's wrong. Once you attach the picture, all you gotta do is hit report like you always would and that's it. This only works for reporting the game you're currently in and unfortunately can't be used for reporting players or on website stuff. It's a pretty simple concept so there's really not much else to say about it other than that this is pretty useful and long overdue. I'm kind of surprised it took Roblox so long to add something like this because it should be super beneficial to the platform. Adding a picture gives a moderator more reason to look into a reported game and an idea of what they should be looking for once in there. Before this was a thing, a moderator would just read a brief description of what was reported then hope to find something matching that description once in game. This update allows the moderator to go into the game knowing what exactly to look for which makes things a million times easier and faster for them. It should save Roblox moderation a lot of time, while making reporting on in-game stuff more accurate and effective. At least you'd think it'd make reports on games from within them more effective, but I'm not really sure if that's the case. A few days ago, I decided to test this out in that one online dating game that Roblox simply refuses to take action against for unknown reasons. As you can see here, I put in some image reports on in-game developer added content that pretty obviously violates the Roblox terms of service. That sign one should have been a pretty easy thing to ban, and this kissing animation should have been even easier to ban. I sent both of these reports with pictures over three days ago and to really no surprise, nothing has happened to the game. That may be because this game I think found a way to become unbannable, but still, the picture report should be working here. This is just one small test of this new feature so it probably works well in other cases but this is so obviously something that should be banned yet it wasn't. As good as this update is, it isn't going to fix the apparent incompetence of the moderators handling reports. I think this will be helpful a bit but evidently right now it's failing to take down even the most obvious of violations. Do you think this update will help clean up Roblox? Comment what you think and leave a like down below.